What's up guys, Dean here again with Team Debru, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can use CPA Grip affiliate offers with Instagram story ads. So I'm going to take you guys step by step through the entire process of starting your own CPA, uh, CPA Grip campaign. Uh, so make sure you guys are following along step by step. All right guys, so again today I'm gonna to be giving you guys a Watch Me Build campaign for CPA Grip using Instagram Story Ads. I'm gonna take you guys step by step through everything. So let's go ahead and get started here today. This is CPA Grip. If you guys have never seen CPA Grip, you can just check them out at cpagrip.com or by using the link in the description down below. Um, they're a really nice CPA Grip, uh, sorry, a CPA affiliate network um, that offer a lot of CPA offers as well as PPD. Um, offers and um, a lot of monetization tools like content lockers, video lockers, URL and download lockers and all types of things. Today though I'm going to be showing you guys how to find a CPA offer on CPA Crib that you guys can go ahead and promote using Instagram Story Ads. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already got us logged in here. Um, this is the dashboard once you log into CPA Grip. Actually this is the dashboard. So this is what it would look like whenever you log in for the first time. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the left side and go to offer tools. We're going to go to my offers and this is where you guys can find offers to actually promote um, on places like Instagram and face, you know, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Snapchat, any kind of place with paid advertising pretty much what we're going to talk about here today. Um, and you guys can find offers this way um, to use them to, to promote. So here, over here you can break them down by country, United States, uh, United Kingdom, France. They show you all the popular countries right here right off the bat. And then um, as you scroll down you will see um, some more of like the smaller countries and then they have an even, I believe in other countries. I might have skimmed past it but um, yeah. So that's how you guys would break it down. You can break it down by offer types over here as well as category too. So if you guys want to do like, you know, credit stuff or email zip submit, which is what we're going to be doing here, most of you guys are probably going to do that as well. Um, and that's how you guys would find it. So we're going to go ahead and take an offer here today. The first one, as you guys can see here, it tells you a little bit about them. They have a overview where you can hover over it and see the landing pages, kind of get like a brief description of them. They show the payout over here. Um, you can see some performance statistics over here when they've been added, all that good stuff. If it's mobile or desktop only or all, you'll see it right there. So for today, we are going to be doing this one right here. So get a $100 Walmart gift card now. It pays $1.73. Um, it has gone up over uh, about 3% uh, recently, so it is kind of trending a little bit, I guess you could say. Um, but this is the offer. I've already clicked on it. So this is what it is. So it's a $100 Walmart gift card, National Consumer Center. It looks like they just answer a few uh, quick questions like, do you approve of Trump so far? Um, or whatever it may be. Let's see where it goes next. Uh, yeah, so it looks like after you just click yes or no, it just brings you to a Walmart gift card section and you choose 100 or you put in your email and that's when you will get paid the $1.73. So it's pretty nice, looks like it's pretty well built uh, landing page, it's pretty simple for the person to go ahead and go through, it's not going to be tons of questions, it's not going to be like invading their privacy too much, it doesn't look like, so it looks like it has a nice payout, especially for the uh, what the offer does. So now what we need to do basically to be able to promote this offer is we need to have a bridge page. So if you guys don't know, you aren't allowed to just grab the link from CPA Grip, you know, right over here by... Uh, where does it, where'd it go? Oh, right here. You can't just click on it, grab this link, add it to your uh, Facebook business manager to promote on Instagram story ads and hope that it works because uh, they don't allow direct linking typically with these affiliate networks, especially places like CPA Grip and Max Bounty, ClickBank. Um, some of the more popular networks are definitely not going to be approved. Um, your links are going to be disabled. They're going to have your accounts um, possibly shut down too if you try and use these. So make sure that you aren't using them. Uh, make sure that you guys are creating a bridge page, which I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by a bridge page here in just a second. What I am going to do though is I am going to copy this link. So let me just do that. I think I copied it. Yeah. Ah, what's going on? 
Yeah, so I'm gonna copy it. And then what we're gonna do now to create this bridge page, there are multiple ways you could do this. There, of course, there are some free ways out there where you can use like a WordPress site with some sort of plugin. A lot of times people promote uh, Elementor, I believe it's what it's called, or Elementor Pro. Um, those ones are really good to use. I believe there's some, uh, some other ones out there. However, we don't really talk about those ones too much because typically those ones do have a little bit longer load times, which could have an impact on your actual campaigns. So typically, we typically recommend either ClickFunnels or Amazon S3. Uh, I've been t talking about ClickFunnels for so long. Today, I wanted to do something different. So I'm going to talk to you guys a little about Amazon S3 and how it works. Um, so those are you are that are taking advantage of Amazon and their extremely fast loading speeds, probably one of the best options I would say uh, for this type of marketing um, it, and building websites in general is, is uh, Amazon S3. The load times are like half a second to a second, so it's really, really fast. Um, but that's what we're going to do today, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, to do that, we are going to need to go ahead and basically pull up, I use a program called Brackets. Um, I've gone ahead and uploaded our folders over here. Uh, these folders are actually the folders for our, let me back out of this so you can see a little bit better, um, are our Amazon folders that you guys can find on the AFK forum. So if you guys haven't already signed up for the AFK forum, make sure you do that by using the link in the description below. For the bridge pages, you can find our Amazon setup as well as our ClickFunnels setup. Uh, within the uh, <clears throat> within the forum for you guys to download and use yourself so you guys can actually have this exactly how I have it here today um, this is the index.html file so if you have gone through our mastermind you guys have probably gone through this whole entire setup and you guys understand more about what this is um, but this is the HTML coding for the actual landing page that we're going to be promoting so just to show you guys what the landing page looks like let me go ahead and start up a little preview here so this is what basically the uh, Amazon S3 landing page looks like. Um, when you get it, you'll basically have like a mobile optimized landing page as you guys can see here. It'll still have the quiz um, as you guys are probably used to with some of our other videos uh, where they answer a few questions and then it gets them through you know, wherever they need to go next. Um, and then what I like about this one here is that it even has this Facebook kind of social proof where it has previous winners with their Facebook profile pictures and everything and the cool thing about all of this is you can actually edit this all within this HTML code so um, what you can do is you can kinda just put one, where'd it go? so let's say I wanted to edit this image here I could edit this and come over here and So what I've done is I've went ahead and found a Walmart image. I've gone into my HTML folder. I've gone into the image folder and I've added the Walmart image in here. So once I've gone back and found where this code is, I've gone over here and updated where it wanted the image um, and I was able to change it to this image here. So it's pretty simple stuff. It does take a little bit more work guys, but the load times on these pages are extremely fast as you guys can see. Um, it really doesn't do anything at all. Um, another thing that we'll obviously want to change is this says $500. It is only a $100 gift card, so we want to change that here. So as you guys can see, I just needed to click and find it. Oh, so that's good to go. So um, let's take a look and see kind of how it looks here. Uh, this is basically what it would look like whenever someone lands on the offer page. So what the flow is going to be is we're going to add the HTML code for this, um, uh, for sorry, for this landing page onto Facebook Business Manager. Uh, from there, what will happen is we'll start buying traffic from in for Instagram Story Ads. This will send the traffic to our landing page that we just created here together. And then what they'll do is the traffic will be like, oh yeah, of course I want to win this Walmart gift card for a hundred dollars. I am twenty five. Um, how much do I spend on fashion? So you want to maybe change the questions. Uh, this one says, how much do you spend on fashion a month? Um, you know, if it's a female, a lot of females maybe spend 100 bucks to 250 bucks. So that's one thing you want to keep in mind. And then where do you normally buy your clothes? So these are some uh, popular brands. 
um, I believe in the UK or just in other parts of the country, uh, or sorry, other parts of the world. Um, and then, you know, someone can choose that. And then what will happen is it will go ahead and redirect them after they go through all these questions, as you guys can see here. And it will get them to where they need to go. So that's where we need to do the next part. So obviously now we need to add in our affiliate code. So that's where we're going to come down here. It has Google as a placeholder right now. So if you guys have downloaded this template from the AFK form, just come down here where it says Google. And this is where you want to set up for the redirect, as you guys can see over here. So that will be back over here on that on CPA grip. We'll go ahead and copy this code here. And I think it copied. Let's see. Yep, looks like it copied. So, and then what you want to do is you go to File, you go to Save All. That's going to save everything here that we just did. And let's open it up again. So, And the cool thing is you can even edit all of these different things in here too. So right now it says 150. You'd obviously want to change that to 100 because this is for a $100 gift card. Um, but that's it. So then they would just go through the actual offer. Once they're done with their offer, then they would go ahead and um, basically fill out the uh, email address is all it was, I believe. Yep, they'll just put in their email address and then that's when we're gonna get paid that $1.73 uh, that this payout has, so $1.73. So that's how you guys would go ahead and set it up. So the next part you guys would wanna do is basically come over here and create a st Instagram story ad. This is something that's very important because this is what's gonna draw people into the actual funnel that you guys have kinda set up here. And the way that we do that is by using Canva. So Canva here, they have an Instagram template that you guys can go ahead and, and use. Um, it already has dimensions and everything. And if you guys want to see how we built these actual Instagram story ads, I would recommend taking a look at some of the other videos on our channel. We have some videos specifically on how to create a highly engaging Instagram story ads and Instagram, I'm uh, sorry, Facebook feed ads and all types of uh, uh, ad creatives that go a lot more in depth on how to create images. But to break down this image here today, I just kind of chose the angle of being inside the store, just kind of seeing the store. If you guys have ever been to Walmart, just seeing this aisle with like this low price guarantee and like the little logo and everything, it's pretty obvious that it is Walmart, so it does stand out. Um, I typically recommend when doing these uh, Facebook, or sorry, Instagram story ads, that you do upload at least six images at once, and that's because Facebook does allow you to do that at no additional cost. So what that does is it allows you to see what angle works best. So maybe, you know, you do some images right here on this aisle, maybe do something in the electronic section, maybe show stuff outside, uh, like the outside of the store, or, um, you know, different things like that, just to see what works best or what catches the audience's eye. Um, and you just because that Facebook doesn't charge you for that. So make sure you guys take advantage of that. It's really cool that you guys can upload at least six images at no additional cost and find out really works best for your campaigns. Um, another thing that I always like to point out is to um, always put like a border, at least the images most of the time, I would say 80, 90% of the, my campaigns, the images with the borders, with the pattern breaks, either, you know, an arrow pointing at something, a circle on it, or something as simple as like this yellow border here that you guys can change to, you know, maybe like a pink or any color to kind of help stand out. Uh, this helps a lot with your ad creatives um, when you're trying to draw attention and separate yourself from everything else that's going on the page. So I definitely recommend that. Try and stick to the same template. A lot of people um, within our uh, masterminds, a lot of our coaches, a lot of everyone working here at Debru uses the same exact template for their story ads. Um, it's something that has been tested and proven to work. So make sure you guys check that out. Make sure you guys are doing that as well. For the swipe up hand, it's very simple to find. Just Google it, swipe up uh, logo or swipe up hand PNG. PNG is typically just a transparent image. So that is easily placed on anywhere you want to put it here. Um, as for the Walmart images, Walmart logos, I just typed in on Google. You're going to do this obviously at your own risk, but I just popped up 
you know, Walmart logo PNG. Um, and that's where I was able to find this one here. I was also able to find this one here for the one down at the bottom. And that's pretty much it. Obviously, I did forget to change uh, this right here. So you want to make this more relevant. Swipe up and get, do something like swipe up and get a 100 or 100, it is only $100 Walmart. Uh, do something like that. And that's that. So now you would just download it and that would bring us to the next part. All right, and then once you've got that downloaded, all you need to do now is to go over to your business manager. So this is my Facebook uh, business manager where I set up my uh, one of my ad accounts here. And we're gonna go ahead and create a new campaign. And today we're gonna set up a traffic campaign. This is gonna be for CPA Grip and uh, what was the offer again a walmart 100 dollar gift card that way we know what we're doing so we're going to do 18 plus we're going to i always like to test uh, male and female separate so for this we're going to go ahead and do female uh, 18 plus uh, this is going to be for the United States because I'm in the United States. That's where the offer is from. Um, typically, I would recommend if you're new not to actually start in the United States. It's really competitive. Um, it's really hard. And I would say you're going to have a lot better luck in countries with probably a different language than you speak, like maybe Italian or uh, maybe Spanish with doing something like Spain. Or maybe um, even if you want to try something with the English language, you could try things and have better luck with geos like um, maybe uh, the United Kingdom or New Zealand actually converts really well. The only hard thing with New Zealand is it is hard to scale as there aren't a ton of people. So, but for today, um, just for ease and like I said, I'm from the United States and I didn't want to use a VPN and things to choose a different offer we're gonna do the United States. So again, this is female, 18 plus, the United States. This is for a Walmart gift card. And we are gonna do an interest of Walmart, which I will show you guys here in just a second. So we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna go ahead and get started. It's already got United States set up here. However, let's say this offer was for the United Kingdom. You would wanna take this out, obviously, and type in United Kingdom. Um, male, uh, it's got male and female separated right now with all. So we're just going to go ahead and do female. It's 18 plus, so that's good to go. I'm going to put English right here. And I do that because um, this is going to make sure that whoever you're promoting to actually does speak English. Um, you don't want to promote to people who can't necessarily read your offer. So I always like to do that. You don't necessarily have to, but I always do. Um, detailed targeting. This is where you're really going to be able to find some of your winners when you guys are running these campaigns. So when it comes to detailed targeting, obviously we can do Walmart um, as one of the options. That's what we're going to choose here today. However, you're going to want to test out some other things because obviously other people who maybe are running the software, they're obviously going to run Walmart too. It's obviously the most likely thing where people are going to convert. People who are like Walmart are going to want the Walmart $100, $100 gift card, right? Right. However, it's going to be very competitive if other people are doing it. So typically what I like to do is I like to come into suggestions. And I also like to test out different um, suggestion interests within here. Because most of the time people who like Walmart like these sort of things as well. Um, so you might be able to find some cheaper, uh, you know, c cheaper CPCs and, and have better interests from people in some of these categories and a lot less competition. So what I like to do is I like to set up, I'll start off one as Walmart, of course, but when I'm running all these other offer or when I'm running um, this offer, I obviously want to test as much as I can. 
um, with the budget that I have. So I will also test out, you know, Walmart. I'll test out maybe Kohl's. I think that was an option. Macy's, that's another option. You know, maybe I'll test out Target. Um, I'll test out, you know, different things like that just to see if one does better than the other. Um, and that's really, you're really going to be able to find your winners, guys. And once you find your winner, um, that's when you're able to scale and start, you know, profiting a lot more. So we're going to go ahead and leave that as Walmart right now. You only want to do one at a time. Obviously, if I added Walmart and Target into here at the same time, then I'm not really going to understand where the, uh, you know, the conversion came from. So I always like to do them one at a time. That lets you find out the best possible um, place to run your ad. So for down here, you don't want to do automatic placements. That's going to basically allow Facebook to place your ad all over their network. Um, and, and kind of just spend your budget kind of freely. I always like to do one thing at a time once again. So I'm going to take off all of this other stuff here. I only want Instagram. And I also only want, uh, oh, I should have done this first. Remember to do this first. Uh, I want to make sure I took off desktop as you guys could see. I'm going to take off Facebook, the audience network, Messenger, and I only want Instagram on. Now, I, I'm going to take this one step further. I don't even want Instagram feed ads. I just want Instagram story ads. So I'm going to take the Instagram Explorer off as well. Now you can see the only thing checked in this whole entire list is the Instagram story ads. So I just want to run that one by one. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. So today we're going to do for link clicks and I'm going to tell you that is because within the United States typically the US does perform better if you do link clicks um, and landing page views does better pretty much for the rest of the world. So I would say most of your campaigns are going to be done with landing page views however because I want to make sure that this is a proper um, build out for you guys I am going to do link clicks because this is the United States. Um, for the daily budget, we are going to do three times the daily rule or three times the payout. So let's see. All right. So we're going to do, what was it? Walmart. So it is a dollar seventy three. So for $1.73, I already calculated it earlier, it looks like that will be $5.19 that you would spend every single day on your campaigns. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on here, or what was it, $5.19, yeah. So we want our daily budget to be $5.19. And just to break that down for you guys a little bit more, what that is, is that is the three day rule. So we're gonna run three times the payout, so three times $1.73, which is $5.19, and we're gonna run this for three days. Now, if after three days, if we are not profitable, that's when you're going to want to go ahead and uh, kill this campaign and move on to the next one. Now, if you did have some sort of interest that we were talking about earlier that was a winner, then what you would want to do is you want to optimize on that campaign. One, see how you guys can, you can make it better. And two, you're going to want to start to scale that campaign by either doing some automated rules or by duplicating um, and scaling that way. You guys can check out some other scaling um, videos and techniques within the channel, so make sure you guys check that out, but keep that in mind. So that's how it works. We're gonna do 519 a day, and we're gonna run that for three days, and we're gonna go ahead and hit continue, or actually, I need to go back. Bear with me, guys. I forgot about this because Um, so it says impressions. Since this is link clicks, we want to change it to link clicks. Now, if you're doing landing page views, it would be impressions. So don't be alarmed if you guys are seeing that and you're doing landing page views. That's totally normal. So now we'll go ahead and go forward. Um, this is all right. So when you do these, um, you do have to, when you do anything on Facebook Business Manager, you do have to have a Facebook page set up. Um, even though this is for Instagram story ads, we can use an Instagram page if we want, uh, but we still need to have a Facebook page connected. So I've gone ahead and connected uh, one of my Facebook pages here. Uh, if you have an Instagram page, you can select it right here. You could also search it and add it on here as well. That'll help with getting in some extra traffic to your page. You might gain some extra followers and things like that if you do have an Instagram page. Uh, I'm just going to keep it how it is for now. 
Now, as for the format, we're not going to do any carousel images today. We're just going to do a single ad image. Um, but as I was telling you guys before, you can add up to six images at once um, at no additional cost. So make sure you guys are doing that. Let's go ahead and see the image that we made here together. That's not it. Those aren't it. Here it is. So you just wait for it to upload and you guys can see some of the other images that I've maybe done with you guys before. Lots of them here. All right, so that's good to go. So this is what it would look like on there. Um, now what you'd wanna do is you'd wanna come over here and add in the display link. It looks like I didn't add the border over here all the way. I was kind of in a rush with you guys. So obviously make sure if you guys see any edits or problems with it where things aren't loading up like this, you're going to want to fix them because they are going to show through on the ad. And that's the whole point of them showing this so you guys can see um, if you have any issues or if things don't line up correctly. So if you guys see things like that, make sure you go back to your image and you just slide it over just a little bit more so that way it lines up perfectly because people will notice those um, within there. So let's go ahead and do this. So the URL, this is where you're going to be adding in your um, your landing page URL. So the URL we created over here with our um, brackets here. So what you would do, obviously, if you guys were uh, doing Amazon, is you would take the domain that you guys purchased um, for, you know, whatever it may be for your reward, or sorry, it may be, uh, how do I explain this? So when you go and get your domain, I typically don't say purchase anything that says sweepstakes or sweeps or anything directly in it because it can be a flag for Facebook. So for example, I maybe would say the best rewards or top rewards or um, quality rewards or quality gifts or things like that that don't really um, do off like a red flag. I wouldn't really necessarily use like sweepstakes or samples or free, things like that. Um, and that domain is what you would basically be putting in here. So you would be uploading the files that we were editing earlier into your Amazon um, S3 uh, system there so that way it would basically use Amazon's hosting to be shown so that's what I've already gone ahead and done I didn't show all that process earlier it's a it does take quite a bit of a process to set up so this would go ahead and set it up in here I just used a random domain I don't actually use this domain for anything um, here is learn more uh, and then you want to make sure your Facebook pixel is turned on and that it is set up so if you're doing the brackets your Facebook pixel is usually going to be up here at the top. Where'd it go? Up here in your header, you want to make sure you add it up here within the header. Um, right, usually right in here is where you'd want to add your Facebook pixel. I don't have mine in here at the moment. I thought I did, but I guess I don't. But this is where you would basically put in your Facebook pixel right in here. Um, that way you could go ahead and get that track. So if you do that, you can go ahead and turn it on. You'll see a green light in here. It's already set up. And you would go ahead and hit confirm. And that's that. So now we'll go ahead and go through the approval process. Once it's done being approved, it'll go ahead and start. Or it'll tell you it's disapproved and you need to make some changes. Um, if this is your first time setting up ads, getting started with this, um, it can maybe take an hour or two um, for something to get approved. I've even had ads go over 24 hours before they got approved. So don't be super alarmed if it takes a long time. It is what it is. It happens. Um, and just let it do its thing. Um, if you do have any disapprovals, make sure you change them. Maybe it's an issue with your ad copy or maybe some of the images or logos that you are using. So make sure you guys tweak those. Are you struggling with your affiliate marketing business or want to take things to the next level? Allow me to introduce you to Dice University. 
Dice University is the number one affiliate marketing training platform in the world. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced affiliate marketer, Dice University offers you thousands of different videos with topics such as Facebook, volume, adplexity, and many more of your favorite topics. Step by step, you will learn the secret super affiliate ways to get the most out of each traffic source. Dominate each vertical with our detailed quick start guides. Are you ready to get started? Click the link in the description to sign up today.